my name is Paula Harlock. Uh, welcome to my channel. Um, if you're not yet a subscriber, now is a great time to subscribe. And this is the first time I've ever done a video. And I'm going to ask you, even before I begin the video, to share it. Because I want all of us to be thinking about this thing very deeply this topic that i'm going to cover because i think it's very important and it's very important right now so share 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 not to cause controversy but to initiate discussions on this very important topic that i'm about to cover now anybody who knows me and who has been following this channel for a while will know i'm always talking about the light and I'm always saying, let us call in the light because this light is what heals us, what cleanses us. This light is a technology. This light is something that transcends all religions, all spirituality, all civilizations. Everyone can agree with this thing called light. And all of us agree that light, the light of God, all of it is good. No, I'm talking about this because I feel like I literally woke up this morning with instructions. You need to do this video right now. I was like, why? Are you promoting something? No. Mm -mm. All I'm promoting is the light because I realize that this is what is missing, especially here in Jamaica. So this video is for us to share within the Jamaican diaspora and among us Jamaicans because this is a Jamaican problem that I'm going to speak about today. We are very quick to say in this country what is demonic and what is not right. But there are things that we are doing and saying now that make me wonder. And when I look at what's playing out in our society, I am wondering if what they are talking about, that words are spells, is not in fact so. And I'm going to touch on this issue. I know it's going to be controversial, but I don't wish to be controversial. I want to get all of us to start thinking. I'm 54. And all my life, I've always heard in church people singing about the Holy Spirit, calling in the Holy Spirit to heal and to, to solve problems and so on. But note, I noticed about maybe 15 years ago that there was an insertion. And I'm wondering if this insertion wasn't a psyop. And what I'm talking about is the blood of Jesus. Now, before I came on, I said, let me just look at what they're saying about the blood of Jesus and I read a couple of scriptures because it's very nicely documented in several articles what's the benefits of the blood of Jesus and very nicely outlined and I'm clear about what they're trying to say in terms of you know Jesus dying on the cross and so on no hear me out I am not well studied or well versed in the Bible and this is what I'm saying I want this piece not to stir controversy, but to be a topic for discussions in your Bible study so that you can decide whether you want to keep on using the terminology the blood of Jesus or under the blood or covered with the blood. Why? As a friend of mine said, I can think of nothing more demonic than being covered by the blood of a man. And the truth is, in this time and era, we're, we're uncovering all of these scandals with all these blood sacrifice rituals going on. We now have to wonder if this insertion was not a sigh up to get the people of color who are very powerful in their throat to disperse this word spell. Because if you and I look very carefully at about the same time when this blood of Jesus or covered in the blood or under the blood thing came about I also started to see an uptick in the murder rates in the loss of life and carnage on the road and everybody's gonna say oh well there are more guns and guns are more 
available to more people and so on but think about it is this by design because I remember in the old days when people would be in church and they'd be singing um, spirit of the living God fall afresh on me and it felt good it didn't feel anyway to me when I'm hearing people talking about the blood of Jesus covering me and cover them under the blood and I am thinking all these ladies who are sitting in the church talking about the blood of Jesus the blood of their grandsons are being murdered their children are being murdered their nephews their nieces all of these people who are constantly talking about the blood the blood the blood the blood not realizing that the blood is running in the streets Stop for a moment and think about this. Psyops. What are psyops? Psyops are when these very manipulative powers that be will insert something that people will run with and not know why they're running with it. And at the same time that that psyop, the blood of Jesus came around, they also used music, hip-hop music in particular, to carry certain frequencies that have demonic overtones or undertones, that have people in fight and flight, people in violence mode, people in killing mode, people in sex mode. So when you combine those two things and you look at what is happening in the communities where there are lots of people of color. So both in the Caribbean islands, especially Jamaica, we're very influential with our music and our behaviors and our patterns and our dances and everything. And in the US, because we, the truth is we're very spiritual people. We're very connected to the realm of spirit and we, we, we speak powerfully in that realm. And we operate powerfully in that realm. But if they weaponize that realm against us and we don't know, then we're just going to be participants without realizing that we're participating in our own demise. So it's just a thought that I want everyone to think of. Perhaps with a view to reverting back to the simple old adage of just working with Holy Spirit or working with spirit rather than this blood. I'm just throwing it out because I have seen the correlation and I want the bloodshed in this country to stop and I want the bloodshed in the US among the black population to stop. So we who are the prayer warriors need to stop uttering those word spells that we are actually using against our own people, our own lineage. We, our grandmothers, are in the churches talking about the blood, cover my family in the blood. Three weeks, three months later, your family members are covered in blood, their own blood. So I just want everyone to think, perhaps let's let go of that for a little while and just focus on spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit fall on us, Holy Spirit come down. And I'm making this video because I received a video sometime back, maybe about a month ago, of a prophecy of a woman saying that, Jamaica and all the other Caribbean islands are at risk of being, you know, struck by disaster because we are not changing our ways, our immoral ways of being and of doing things. And I thought to myself, what can I do? And I thought, you know what I should do? I should get people to come together and call in more light, call in more of spirit to be with us, to protect us. But as I was thinking about that, I was thinking also about all the prayer warriors that are in church every Wednesday and every Saturday and every Sunday, and they're praying, and it's still not working. There's still, no, there's mass murders in Jamaica that never used to have. We never used to have mass murders. 
what is happening. So, I would still like to ask us all to just perhaps ease off of that terminology for the rest of the year and just call Holy Spirit to be with us, to protect us, to protect our family members, to shield our family members, to shield our country from disaster, to shed light on all the darkness and the corruption that's happening in our country because there is a lot and it needs to come to light and this is why I always work with light some people say light and spirit are you know interchangeable you know you guys can discuss that too I'm not an expert I'm just sharing with you what came to me this morning you could call it a divine do download if you wish or you can call it insights if you want you can even call it insanity whatever I am just throwing this out because like everyone else in Jamaica in Jamaica I am concerned about what is happening and I want us to think about it and to discuss it and to come to some solutions that we can come together and use our voice to activate spirit or light to come in and be with our people at this time and offer the protection that we need at this time because it is a spiritual battle but war is always fought using strategy and perhaps a strategy has been used against us to weaponize us against ourselves so that's all I'm saying let's think about it share this video again as I asked in the beginning and use this 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 video not to lash out against me but for meaningful discussion in your prayer groups and in your prayer meetings and in your churches because we can make a strategic decision to change our verbiage and change possible outcomes thank you very much